Centroid Acorn controller can be easily connected with the DMM servo system to provide motion for all parts of the CNC. In this video, we'll be covering the full system setup in a little bit more detail. In addition to the standard setup and connections, we will also cover the parameter settings for the servo drives to get them fully ready for the machine. Once the normal XYZ axis motion control is set up, the DYN4 servo drive can also be used as a servo spindle and we will cover the connection and setup for that as well. When setting up your own machine, make sure to follow these steps in order. As with any installation, make sure to review and reference each component's specification manual for details on usage and safety guidance. Before installing any parts into your control box or machine, make sure to bench test to check that everything is running normally before proceeding. We also recommend following the Centroid Quick Start Guide for the Acorn. Let's start with the setup for the Acorn controller. The parts included with the Acorn kit are the main control board, the 24 volt power supply, and cables. In addition, you also need an Ethernet cable to connect the Acorn to the PC. Connect the 24 volt power supply to the Acorn and outlet. Make sure power is turned off first. Connect the Ethernet cable from the Acorn to the controller PC. Power up the 24 volt power supply and wait until the Acorn fully boots up. Once booted, the blue heartbeat light flashes at 1Hz. Then download and install the Acorn CNC12 software from Centroid. After software installation, the Acorn CNC wizard will automatically open. Select the DMM DYN2 or DYN4 servo drive type. In order to isolate the connection between the Acorn and servo drive, turn off all the inputs and outputs except for the required e-stop input. The e-stop is not connected for its first bench test, so set this input to normally open. Launch the CNC12 program. Initialize and make sure the program is communicating with the Acorn board. Power off the Acorn board to prepare for wiring with the servo drive. After bench testing the servo drive, Set the drive into position servo mode and pulse direction command input mode. The Acorn uses pulse direction signals to send motion to each axis, so the drive must be saved into the same mode so it can recognize the commands correctly. Wire the DYN2 servo drive to the Acorn controller based on this diagram. A link to the diagram download will be provided in the video description or visit our website. Since all the DYN2 servo drive I.O. is 5V logic, we can use the Acorn's H6DB25 terminal, which is all 5V logic. We recommend starting with only the pulse direction connections first. The enable and alarm connections can be made later. Wire the DYN4 servo drive to the Acorn controller based on this diagram. A link to the diagram download will be provided in the video description or visit our website. Again, we recommend starting with only the pulse direction connections first. Once these connections are made, power up all components, launch the CNC12 software, and enable the program. The Acorn is now in full control of the drives and can be jogged. The servo drive's alarm output and enable input signals can be wired to the Acorn. The alarm output tells the Acorn to stop operation as soon as the servo drive encounters a problem. The enable input allows the Acorn to disable or enable the drive whenever needed. The electronic gear ratio gear num parameter in the DYN servo drive is used to set how far the drive should move the motor given the number of pulses received. 
This parameter should be set according to controller and machine specifications. Follow the description and example on the screen for details. Once the motors are mounted on the machine, run the DYN servo drive auto tuning procedure and the drive will automatically set all the necessary control parameters itself. All that's needed in addition from the user is to set the gear num parameter and the drive settings are completed. The DYN4 servo drive can be run in speed servo mode and analog command mode, just like a spindle drive. The incremental encoder output from the DYN4 servo drive can be connected to the Acorn spindle encoder input to achieve position control of spindle motor, mostly used for rigid tapping and lathe spindle position control applications. The 750 watt and below size motors has peak 5000 RPM speed capability. The 1 kilowatt and above motors have peak 3000 RPM. So make sure the motor is selected for the spindle is suitable for both power and speed. For this application, set the servo drive to speed servo mode and analog input mode. The line num parameter in the DYN4 servo drive determines the encoder output resolution. Refer to the DYN4 servo drive manual for details on the line num parameter. Follow this diagram here to wire the DYN4 servo drive to use as a spindle. In speed servo mode, gear num parameter does not need to be set. The servo drive can still be tuned using the auto tuning procedure. Then just set the line num parameter according to the encoder output resolution requirement and the servo drive configuration is completed. When connecting the spindle encoder feedback to the Acorn, Follow the precautions here to minimize noise on the encoder signal. The analog input can be fine-tuned to compensate for any analog zero offsets. The analog voltage to speed reference ratio can also be adjusted, as well as the soft start acceleration of the motor when the input speed reference changes. For the servo spindle application, follow this comprehensive procedure to complete the setup. This concludes the comprehensive setup procedures for the Centroid Acorn controller. For additional information, please visit our website or contact us directly.